Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this LCD screen with DigiSpark USB and DigiSpark micro USB with Arduino. Let's get started with this. The screen is called LCD1602 because it has 16 characters on each line and we have two lines. So it's called 1602 and uh, we're going to use it with the GSPark 80 Tiny 85 microcontroller. This is the USB version which you inserted directly to USB and this is the micro USB that will be connected by, by a cable to the USB. In both cases the code, pen, connectivity and everything is the same except uh, when you connect it to the device it will be different. Except the connection is different. The screen has I2C communication module here at this point and we have four pens here the whole board we have four pens here uh, ground VCC ground will be connected to ground VCC will be connected to 5 volts then we have SDA and SCL which I'm going to show you how to connect it we have a jumper here at the back and there is a light this backlight will keep this lit so if you remove this the backlight will turn off and also we have here this uh, potentiometer. If you rotate this potentiometer, the of the screen will change. You see, very light. A different angle, you get different. And this module is offered in green, white, and blue. This is the green version. Here is the blue version. Now explain the wiring. From this side, the ground is yellow. I've been connected to this ground, the middle pin of uh, DJ Spark board. The VCC, the second pin from this side, have been connected to 5 volts with an orange wire. And then we have SDA. SDA, is, as you can see, is the red. The pin 0 is SDA or pin 1. You can connect it to the first pin that's pin 0 and the last pin is SCL you just leave one pin and go to the third pin that is um, SCL let me now explain the code first to open the code go to file example scroll down until you see the JSPark series of codes. So these are all examples for the JSPark and you will see the JSPark LCD and basic. Once you connect, click on that, this file will open. The first thing that you have to do is put your address here. In my case, I found the address of this one to be 3F you have to run I2C scanner to get address. Usually it's 0, x this 0 and x mean hexadecimal and 3f is the value for hexadecimal. It can be 0x20, 0x27 usually or 0x38. Click on tools, boards and from this window scroll down until you see DJ stamp is your board and the first one for this is that DJ spark default 16.5 megahertz this is selected if not click on it that is done then go to file examples and scroll down on, on here until you see examples for DJ spark and then go to DJ spark examples and click on I2C scanner. I'm putting it here and then after that on the start menu type notepad NOT as soon as you type notepad you will get the notepad if not type full notepad open it I grabbed it from the top bar the screen is at the middle now I'm bringing it on this side 
click on upload this is not connected now neither this one nor this one so the device is ready connected in here but not connected when you see it says that you have 60 seconds at this stage connected and wait until you see here it says done upload done when it says done click here as you can see it prints the address for you zero x three f for this device and this value goes in here from here we, we, we define it and it used here 16 means we have 16 characters here and this two means we have two lines this is first line and second line inside the setup we use this tiny wire m dot begin this initializes the i square c communication this initializes the screen backlight will turn on this backlight for us and then this will print lcd dot print will print the text this is the text that initially when you turn it on it shows the text let me show you so when it boots that is the first text that you see and it waits for three seconds and disappears so this three second is to give you enough time to read that inside the loop this code will run continuously this portion of the code because this is a loop it will execute line by line reaches to the end and it goes back at the beginning we have to clear because in initially remember we had this text we have to clear whatever is in a previous loop iteration after that we say lcd.print robojax that will print this text for us automatically it starts with character zero if you do not set the cursor at the beginning and then after this now we want to print the text on the next line so we say set cursor zero one that zero means character zero and one means line one those this is line zero this is line one so we jump one line below and we print this text hello world up to exclamation mark and then we wait 500 milliseconds if you pay attention closely it blinks every half a second because we go and replace the code with something else so in, in your case if you're reading a sensor or mm, value from somewhere else you can do your uh, iteration here so this was the example and how easy it is to display the text here and it works exactly the same way if you use DJ Spark USB version that you plug in directly to USB. First, let's compile that code. And now I'm within the 60 second fr time frame. Wait for it to say that it is completed. As you can see, it works perfectly with the that module as well as this module. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video and if you like it, please thumb up. Please subscribe so you can get updates of my other upcoming videos. And if, if you have comment or question, post it at the uh, comment section below. I try to answer and reply. Let's power it up.